so you're designing an IoT application. Whether it's a consumer design, an industrial application, or a product for the medical field, you're going to need to deal with authentication and secured configuration. Both of these design issues may seem easy at first, but they can get a bit tricky down the line. Today's IoT designs demand contactless authentication and device configuration. No one wants to deal with a bunch of steps to get their application up and running. They also demand security features that won't allow unauthorized access, data breaches, or compromises to system integrity and reliability. So. Where should we go to find a solution to all of these issues? Infineon's Optiga Authenticate NBT, that's where. Hi, <laughs> I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Niraj Kumar from Infineon and I explore the features and benefits of the Optiga Authenticate NBT. We investigate the security elements, key hardware aspects, and data transfer rates of this solution, and how it can enable ultra-fast, contactless NFC communication between IoT devices and contactless readers. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. Hi, Niraj. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Amelia. It's a pleasure talking to you. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about the Optiga Authenticate NBT, which allows for contactless authentication and secured configuration of IoT devices today. But before we dig into the details, talk to me about the motivation behind the creation of this solution. With the rapid rise of IoTs and smart devices and the widespread adoption of smartphones, they have fundamentally transformed the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us. For example, it would be so much easier if we could use our smartphone to activate a shared e-bike or configure an industrial device with just a single tap. Optiga Authenticate NBT is just the device to simplify the process. All right. So talk to me about the Optiga Authenticate NBT and why we should choose this solution. So traditional methods of device configuration with displays, switches, and knobs on the device front panel are not very user-friendly. They involve added material cost and are error-prone due to repetitive manual input. Also, let's not forget the concern of ensuring that only authorized personnel have access to sensitive devices and systems. All these limitations are addressed by Opti Authenticate NBT. Before going further, let's watch a short video to understand the working concept here. Introducing Infineon's Optiga Authenticate NBT, a dual interface NFC to I2C bridge tag, enabling secured contactless device authentication and configuration using a smartphone or NFC reader certified as a type 4 tag by the NFC forum. With just a tap, you can pair, configure, activate, and read logged data. The NFC and I2C technologies merge through this bridge tag, allowing NFC-enabled smartphones or readers to communicate directly with internal components of IoT devices, such as MCUs connected via I2C. Optiga Authenticate NBT enables contactless authentication and secured configuration of IoT devices with just a tap. So talk to me about the security features of this solution. So, Optiga Authenticate NBT follows secure by design principle. It uses Infineon's latest Tegrion-based technology node with Integrity Guard 32 hardware security architecture. The two self-checking CPUs and encrypted storage of on-chip data provide strong protection against reverse engineering. Talking about verifying the device authenticity, NBT provides online and offline authentication mode based on AES-128 and ECC NIST P256 cryptography, respectively. It also comes with a very flexible password management feature for user authorization. If we talk about the data transfer rates, NBT supports up to I2C Fast Mode Plus. This makes transfer of high data volume very efficient 
providing a seamless and user experience. On the I2C interface, it supports data rates up to one megabits per second. And on NFC interface, the data rate can vary between the standard 106 kilobits per second up to 848 kilobits per second. Going further and looking into the standards and certification for NBT, Optic Authenticate NBT is based on well-tested open standards such as Java Card and Global Platform T equals to one prime protocol. It is certified NFC forum type for TAG with CCEL 6 plus certification for the hardware. So what kind of hardware features are included in this solution? Talking about the key hardware features, it offers eight kilobytes of user NVM for sensor data logging or storing user data. The 78 picofarad on-chip tuning capacitance supports smaller antenna designs and also helps in reducing the bill of material for the overall antenna design. It comes in an SMD 8-pin package, uh, which is used on 8-8, with a very small footprint of 2 by 2 by 1.5 millimeter. So what kind of applications are we looking at for the Optiga Authenticate NBT? The Optiga Authenticate NBT is specifically designed to meet the unique requirements of consumer electronics applications, such as device pairing and fault diagnostics. In industrial devices, it can be used for headless configuration and assembly line programming. In the shared mobility space, it enables product activation. And in the healthcare and lifestyle segment, it supports applications such as sensor data logging and control. Okay, so both contactless authentication and shared mobility applications are big trends these days. And the Authenticate NBT can be used in these kinds of designs, right? Yes, you're right, Amelia. In the shared mobility vehicles such as e-bikes, device authentication is a critical step towards product activation or unlocking of the vehicle. Uh, this is enabled by online and offline authentication modes of NBT. In the case of online authentication, symmetric cryptography is used. The advantage is that it can be done through phone browser without a dedicated smartphone app using a dynamic URL with cryptographic one-time token, which we also call as COTT. Alternatively, the offline authentication using asymmetric cryptography and PKI support can also be used here for device authentication and this does not require an internet connection. So that's why we also call it as offline authentication. So what about the industrial applications you mentioned earlier? Can you talk to me about that a bit more? Yeah. So for the industrial applications, such as configuration of devices without the input interface or download of firmware updates to the host software, these are the ideal use cases where NBT can be used. NBT with the pass-through mode can allow a smartphone to communicate with an I2C device, for example, in an industrial robot. It allows higher volume of data to be transferred without the limitation of available user memory on NBT. NBT can also be used for the headless configuration. Here, the smartphone device of the user becomes the user input device, and it eliminates the need for an HMI or human machine interface on the industrial device. So what about the smart home applications you mentioned earlier? Can we dig into those designs as well? Yeah, sure. So in smart home applications, NBT can enable use cases such as passive commissioning, which is setting up of smart IoT devices without the need of powering it first. For example, a smart bulb can be pre-configured before it is plugged into the electrical socket using asynchronous data transfer mode of NBT. In this mode, data can be sent to NBT and stored in its user memory over NFC interface. This data can then be read over the I2C interface when the device is powered and passed on to the host for device configuration. The reverse flow is also possible when the host wants to store sensor data into NBT user memory for a later read by a smartphone reader. Okay, so what about a development kit for the Optiga Authenticate NBT? What kind of options do I have here? So for kickstarting the introduction of NBT to potential customers design, we have two options. First option is the NBT development shield, which consists of a PCB based class five antenna 
and an attached Arduino Uno socket, which can be used with an existing MCU. For customers looking for a zero touch experience, we have the second option where we recommend using NBT development kit. This kit comes with a PSOC mainboard along with NBT Evil Shield and a class five antenna. In both cases, the attached class five antenna can be broken away and replaced with the smaller class six antenna. Okay, so what kind of tools and supporting assets does Infineon offer for the Optiga Authenticate NBT? Well, the support package consists of example applications for product configuration, connection handover, and device authentication for both Android and iOS platforms. These example applications are ready to use with the eVel kit and provide a seamless onboarding experience. The support package also includes host libraries and extensive user guides to enable fast prototyping by the customer. Okay, so before we go, can you recap your main points for me? Yeah. The key takeaway from the presentation would be that Optiga Authenticate NBT is a high performance NFC I2C bridge tag for secured contactless device authentication and configuration. The advantages that it offers is best in class secure hardware easy antenna design, ultra-fast data transfer, bomb optimization, plenty of user memory, and multiple security options. Optica Authenticate NBT is NDA-free and is accompanied by a development kit for ease of design. And last but not the least, example applications are also offered as a starting point for custom designs. Fantastic. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for the questions, Amelia, and for the discussion as well. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube youtube.com slash 